with you guys? This is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays, and today on the Daily Grind, we're gonna be taking a first look. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Rob from the Gay. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays, and today on the Daily Grind, we're gonna be taking a first look at the augments that were released today on Hotfix 22.17.3. Yes, I did have to go look at the numbers over there because legitimately, that's too many numbers for me to remember all at once. So, as you guys know, Mesa and Equinox were getting augments this week. In addition to that, we also have news that we got Nuja augments and an Avar augment. Well, just one Nuja augment. I put an S in there where it didn't need to. But before we do that, let's go ahead and jump into the patch notes real quick. There are a couple things that I did want to mention before we started with all of uh, the test Sting that we've got going on. So in the Shrine of the Eidolon, the Shrydalon update, uh, update 22.17.3, they did do some highly needed fixes for the uh, Plague Star experience. They're going to continue to deploy hotfix as needed, but they're getting our whips out for something else next week. Don't know what that could be. I have no clue because Rob's under NDA and Rob doesn't know anything, but that's what they said in that post. Just that out there. Um, so they're gonna release four new augments, the first one being Nuja's Blazing Chakram Augment, which is the Reaping Chakram. The Chakram flies through enemies. Each enemy hit increases its damage and healing by two times over. There's also been a little bit of a patch, if you read a little bit lower down on this, that they increased Nuja's Blazing Chakram base damage to 250. Ability Strength mods now affect both the Health Restore and the damage. Previously, it was just the damage. So Nuja got a little bit of a buff to the Chakram there, which is very nice to go along with the augment. Avara um, with her Artemis Bow augment, which is called Concentrated Arrow. This one I'm very excited to see how it performs and we'll take a look at that in a minute. It fires a single shot arrow that on headshots has a plus 50% critical chance and explodes in a 7 meter radius. It does remove punch through however. So, can't wait to see how that um, comes from. That's available from Cephalon Suda and the Parent Sequence Syndicates. As for Nujaz, that one is available from Steel Meridian and Cephalon Suda. Um, now moving on, we do have the Equinox Mend and Maim Augment Energy Transfer. 100% of charge is conserved when switching between forms. It's not going to be anything too crazy to show off on stream. We can show off the mechanics, but sounds pretty, sounds like a nice quality of life addition there. Um, it's available as an offering from the Arbiters of Hexes and the new Locust Syndicates. And last but not least, of course, is the Peacemaker Augment, which is Mesa's Wall. Mesa's can now move at 50% speed while using Peacemaker. Um, this is available from Steel Meridian, Red Veil, and Teshin because it was originally a, um, a Conclave Augment. So let's go ahead. I'm really just going to jump into this blind. There's not going to be anything too crazy here. Uh, if I do feel like I'm like, oh, it's amazing, we'll probably go ahead and do kind of like a build that goes along with it. But we can bring it out right now and see exactly how it performs. Now, in this build, I am losing out on a little range for this, uh, which isn't necessarily the end of the world for Mesa at all. So let's go ahead and simulate up a Billy. And uh, as, as always, I like just diving head first. Okay, this is, I mean, this is kind of nice. But you do still have to be facing forward, you know, for a little bit of that Peacemaker action. And that 50% movement speed reduction does not feel bad in the least. It actually is actually not that bad. I'm kind of like thinking, I was like, that almost feels like, that feels like a full on like, oh, I'm walking. You know, I'm just like chilling here walking. So let's do a little bit of this. Like, I mean, that's not bad at all. I don't think that's bad in any way, shape, or form, actually. I'm kind of like, oh, okay, this is nice. Um, pleasant. I don't I don't mind it. I don't hate it. It takes up an exilus slot, as you guys know. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. It's not gonna adversely affect your builds too much because of the fact that it's there. Um, so I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. I'm not sure if I'll keep it in the build because I'm usually the kind of person that pops on uh pops on uh what do you call this? Peacemaker does a quick spin around the room real fast, clear out what I gotta do, and then just bullet jumps away. That's me personally, but you know what? That doesn't feel terrible. I thought it would feel a lot worse than it is. So let's do Equinox real fast. And this one, I, I like feel like I have a spot in my main build for this. Um, so let's see what we've got here. I mean, I, I wish. So let's see, I could probably get rid of a stretch and I would be fine and dandy. Actually, with two Arcane Energizes, I could probably get rid of a Fleeting Expertise, to be honest with you. But that's going to require a little bit of testing. 
let's just see how it feels. So uh, let's toss this there. And all we gotta do is a little bit of a uh, little bit of that action. I mean, we're invincible, so I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. So we could do a little bit of this. Oh, and you get to see uh, how my new uh, Tiburon works out, which it's actually, uh, it can actually be kind of nasty. You can see that, you can see that. A little bit of, little bit of that action. Maybe spread, spread a little bit of that love. And then we'll swap over forms. And uh, there, we, we we were able to keep it. Were we able to keep it? I'll be 100% honest with you, I'm not sure. <laughs> so let's kill this guy right here. So we've got 11.2k. And let's go ahead and swap forms really fast. And now we have 11.2k in men. And we can swap back. And now we have 11.2k in main. So yeah, totally works. Totally fine. Does not seem like there's anything wrong with it at all. So if you guys want to give up a little bit of range or a little bit of whatever you want to give up. I mean, literally, we could just do a little bit of this action, right? We could just toss, toss a couple of those down real fast and then we could go uh swap on over and put him to bed right we could we could do a little bedtime action thank you right and then we could just you know finish one or whatnot add add to the list so now we've got some more we've got 84k hit that guy again you know do a little bit a little bit of that action <laughs> it's just funny how they like knock down and then uh swap back on over and just do a little bit of that yeah, I mean, that works. No, nothing too crazy. It's it's all it's all there. Um, let's just leave that guy and boom. All right. So again, nothing crazy with the Equinox one. Just depends on what you want to give up for your build right there. And then let's move on to what I find to be the more interesting ones. Um, let's go and actually let's jump into. Let's do it backwards. Let's do a Vara next. Now. I don't really know because I I feel like Avara's build is very, very tight. So part of me doesn't want to give up anything, and that's maybe just me being greedy. Uh, but you know what we're going to do first? Do I have a specific? I think I just have a range build for her. So strength drops down to 40. That's my extended range one. I don't even know what this is. I think, oh, is this my infiltrate one? That's my infiltrate one. All right, so we're probably going to stick with this. We'll probably drop... Shit. I'm gonna feel bad, but we might drop an intensify for this because we don't really need intensify. It's not 100% needed. Um, maybe we'll drop a fleeting. Let's just try dropping a fleeting. We'll put in concentrated arrow. Um, and I only do that because I have arcane energized, and I'll probably be a, uh, I'll probably be a sleeping stuff. And I think my build is on the Rockta. Is it on my Rockta? Not 100% sure. I'm just gonna pretend that it is. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do one without concentrated arrow just to see like what a single arrow does. All right, let's just see what a single arrow does on its own on like a corrupt, on a single corrupted agent. We're just gonna check the numbers because I don't know if it's splitting the damage or if it's concentrating the damage. So. It's like five, three, four, zero. Five, four, three, four, zero. Five, four, three, four, zero. So like 54K, right? So that's 54K. Let's see what happens when we toss on um, the concentrated arrow. Okay. Let's do that. So it's like 54K. And uh, let's find out if concentrated arrow makes this more, more powerful. Okay, I believe we got a headshot in there too. So we'll try to get... Five, four, three, four, zero. What? I'm the dumbest. I wasn't even in. I wasn't. E I wasn't even in the fucking Artemis bow. I wasn't even in Artemis bow that whole time. I just started firing off fucking arrows like an idiot. All right, <laughs> let's try that one more time. I'm sorry, you guys, but this is the reality of how Rob works. Sometimes my brain just goes away, um, as some of you may have seen on last night's Riven Roll. Uh, but we've got the Artemis bow this time. <laughs> I was like, I was wondering, okay, 75641, 75641. So let's try that again to get, make sure to get an accurate read um, and make sure that that was actually a headshot. So was that like 75k, bitch? That was 
75,641. Yeah, so 75,641. Or around there. 75k. So let's go ahead and let's toss in that concentrated arrow. Because for me, I'm going to feel bad if the arrow, like, is not doesn't deal more damage on a single shot, right? I mean, I guess the bonus crit would make up for it. We'll have to check to see if the um, the crit is affected by power strength as well, because that might be a game changer. Oh! Okay, so was that like 184 something? Let's, d listen, without me being able to slow it down, I'm gonna need to take another, take another look-see. Okay. So that was like seven five six four one, and then there was I believe what was a headshot, which was definitely that goddamn like one eighty four thing. That had to be a headshot, and the other one had to be a body shot. Right? Oh, a one eight two one hundred eighty two. It definitely looks like it gets a boost in damage for the headshots. Um, but I'm gonna play test that. We got an orange crit off of that too. Ooh, that was nasty. One more time. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Cause so many of, see what, is that a body shot or something? Oh my God. Oh my God, the explosions. Um, I'm liking this. I like this. This might be worth, this might be worth, especially when you're in Prowl. So I'm gonna just try to get body shots off of this. Cause I feel like that's what we're getting. One eight, one eight, nine, one, one. That's the 18 K is a body shot. Because sometimes they're a headshot. Listen! Stop running! I'm trying to get a headshot, babe. 18268. 182628, I think. There was definitely three numbers after that. Um. Oh, 182628. 628? Six, eight. It's something there. It's more. It's more. So that's what I'm that's what it is. The shot is definitely concentrated it's definitely adding together a couple shots at once um we'll get the math we'll definitely put out a a build for this oh my god that orange crit i just i just we're making a build for this that that's gonna be a thing that's gonna be a thing all right so concentrated arrow definitely gets my thumbs up now last but not least let's go ahead and uh do ninja um ninja's augment now here's the thing with this is i personally so this is my pyroclastic flow build because I love that. Um, and you can see I don't use this this one all that much. Just put energize in there. Let's put another energize in there. Um, so this one is more of a ranged build, and this is kind of like the hybrid build that I use, uh, so that you could go ahead and use a little bit range. But what we'll do on this one is maybe we'll take out that's duration. I want some duration in there though. So what what am I willing to give up? Probably, we could we could dump a stretch because I don't want to get in get rid of intensify duration. Do I need that much duration? Okay, we're gonna cut we're gonna cut a little bit of duration. I felt bad doing that. My body definitely felt bad doing that. Uh, but reaping chakram, if reaping chakram tra travels in a straight line, I'm fucking jazzed already. If it's not bouncing all over the place and it just goes through several enemies. Ooh! I'm into it! I'm into it, I'm into it, I'm into it. Okay. Like, I, I could get into that. I don't think it's necessarily going to be the be-all, end-all for my builds. Um, but, if we could, like, I mean, if we could just, like, select a bunch of them, right? Just... Let's do just do some some action with this and it's all in like a straight line wait what happened to it i thought it would uh like bounce back ah yes okay oh all of those are heels y'all yeah i like the fact that it's um i like the fact that it is no longer uh what do you call this i like the fact that it is no longer ricocheting all over the place Oh, look at all them heals! Okay, okay. All right. So, we I'm good with that. I'm good. That makes me happy. I'll probably include that in this build. For those of you guys who don't know, a lot of people don't realize that Nuja can actually heal. But maybe now people will kind of see 
see his potential ability to do so because this, at least the shock room isn't bouncing all over the place. It does require you to hit more than one enemy at once to, uh, wait, it just says enemies hit, right? Or does it say times hit? I think it's just enemies hit. I'm probably crazy on that. Um, and we'll check out, maybe, no, because I'm invincible right now. We'll check out the heal. Okay, let's check out the healing on it. Let's, let's make sure that we don't die. Let's take off the invincibility. Please don't die, Rob. Please don't die. All right. Okay, well, just kill some enemies and we'll simulate. All right. Ooh, I need some health, though. All right, so let's jump in here. I mean, some energy. That's what I meant. Okay, so just get hit once and don't die. Okay, that's good. That's enough. That's enough, bitch. Hold on, that's enough. Okay, let's do this. I love the CC on that. Okay. Oh, all right. Get hit once. Get hit once. Get. Oh, you can't hit me. Oh, okay. Well. Any anybody? No. Well, that's convenient. I, I mean, that's great for this test. I did not. Eh, no. I mean, fantastic. But I mean, the whole the whole point of this was to was to like have you kill me. Hold on. Well, that's that. Uh, let's try that again. As you can see, I mean, even like getting taken... I just need one. Just one. Just one. Oh, I'm invincible. Oh, it's for the time. Hey, come on. Just one. Just one. Just one. Okay. Okay. Avoid all... all avoid all... Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, we proved that it works and it heals you and it travels in a line. That's all we really need to do today on this episode of the Daily Grind. Um, we might see... I might, I might alter a build for this. I might definitely alter a build for this because I think that there's potential in using this ability for fun. It's probably not going to be the most, ep you know, game-changing augment ever. But I definitely think that it will end up being worth it. Um, because as you can see here... You know, you could support your team. You could give your team a nice little support ability. Um, and even... It's, it's not terrible. That's that's the end of the conclusion of this bit. Um, so now that you guys have seen all of that, uh, let me know how you feel about them in the comments below. Are there any that you're like, oh, that's better? Because I definitely... The, the Avara Augment is a thing that's gonna happen. We're definitely gonna play around with that. In addition to that, we'll probably end up doing a build for Nerja. Well, we'll play around with all of them at some point in time. Regardless, that about does it for me for now. Um, and as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch yo body. Let me know which one is your favorite, okay? Put that in the comments, cause I'm curious if there's one that you wanna see more than others. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye